hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another tutorial on kubernetes so this tutorial will be focusing on kubernetes secrets so we have seen a lot of tutorial in my channel on kubernetes so this will be a continuation of kubernetes tutorial for beginners and we will be talking about kubernetes secrets so what it will be the agenda for this tutorial like we will be uh, discussing about what is kubernetes secrets we'll be also discussing about the types of kubernetes secrets which we can make use of and how to create a kubernetes secrets we will see a live demo uh, how to make uh, create secrets and also how to make use of secrets in pod so uh, we'll see all those things in the live demo session and uh, we'll also just have a quick uh, recap on what is uh, config map and what is the difference between config map and config uh, kubernetes secrets so let's get started with you uh, know uh, kubernetes config maps so config map is an api object used to store a non-confidential data uh, in key value pairs so these this points we discussed in my previous tutorial on config map but i just want to recap it uh, because you know uh, if you want to compare config map and uh, kubernetes secrets you need to understand what is config map so the main key point is that uh, kubernetes config map is used for non-confidential data and you know you can make use of uh, config map in pod using environmental variable command line arguments or configuration files in volume so all these things we have seen in my previous tutorial which i will link into this video description you can have a look and uh, config map does not provide a secrecy or encryption so this is a very uh, difference between config map and secret because config map cannot be used for uh, keeping uh, confidential information and there is a, a limitation on data store for config map so let's now talk about kubernetes secrets so kubernetes secret is an object that contains a small amount of sensitive data such as password tokens or key so secret is used mainly to store some confidential data like if you have a username and password which you don't want to expose in your application you create a secret for that so the secrets are similar to config map but specifically intended for hold confidential data so that is the difference between uh, config map and secret and you know the parts you can reference uh, to the secrets so these secrets which we create uh, like a container environmental variable or mounted volume uh, to the containers these can be referenced in the pod so that's the uh, difference uh, between uh, config map and uh, secret so i hope you have understood why we in which scenarios we use config map and which scenarios we make use of secrets now let's uh, talk about a little bit of what are the different kind of secrets uh, we use in kubernetes so when we create a secret uh, using this uh, yaml manifest file you can specify the type the type field is there which you can specify for the secret resource so these are the different kind of uh, built-in type like opaque uh, service account token uh, Q, uh, docker config co docker config json basic authentication ssh auth tls and uh, token so there are different kind of uh, type which you can uh, inform or define in the yaml file when you creating the uh, secret but in this tutorial mainly we'll be focusing on the basic auth because that's where we will be using the user id password like a credential for basic authentication depending upon your uh, requirement you can make use of the other uh, authentication method as well okay so let's get uh, started into the actual demo so before i get into that i would request you like if you're new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button and also i would request you to like these videos share and comment so this is the my kubernetes cluster which is running on minikube so uh, we have used this for a lot of uh, previous tutorials so if you don't know how to set up minikube please have a look into the video description i will uh, link the tutorial there so let's get started so we'll just see uh, what are the secrets available so you just run cubes cuttle get secrets so now you can see we have a default uh, secrets okay and this is in the default namespace so you can see it's called it's used for the service account token if you want to know like uh, all uh, namespace you can see whether if there are any um, other secrets available so you can see there are quite number of secrets which is running on different uh, namespaces right so this is one default and uh, there are other one for other namespaces as well kube public kube system 
so similar way like if you have any secrets created under other namespaces you can check that as well now let's uh, talk about a little bit on creating a secret so I'm going to make use of uh, the template or you know, the Visual Studio code and I have already written the YAML file for creating a secret. So the API version is going to be v1 and the kind is going to be secret. In the metadata, I'm going to give a name for the secret as secret.test. And this is the one we discussed about the type. So I'm going to define the type as uh, kubernetes.io basic.auth. So basic.auth means we are making use of the basic authentication like username, password method so you know the string data this would be string data and i'm going to define a key value pair so this is the key and the value is for uh, username is admin and the password is uh, pass123 so here i'm going to give the direct string values uh, so the username i'm going to give what is the username value admin and the password is password we will also see like how we can change this uh, you know to your base 64 encrypted uh, file as well in this scenario like we will see uh, kubernetes secret it automatically will change this value into a basic system and encrypted form okay so let's copy this content let's go to the fire uh, machine i'll use uh, secrets test.yaml and I'm going to save this okay now I'm going to cube cuttle apply hyphen secrets dot test dot yaml okay so I'm going to run this now you can see we got the message secret uh, test uh, created now if I go to cube cuttle get secrets now you can see we have a new secret called secret hyphen test right and uh, this is uh, the type scoop basic auth right so these have two data because we have two uh, key value pairs now you can get some information about so kubectl describe test okay so we have to describe secret Okay, so now you can see uh, it's a secret and the basic and the data. You can see the password, username, but it does not show what the content we have written. It says seven bytes, this one is five bytes, right? So it does not show what it is uh, given, like admin or password. Now let's uh, kubectl get secret and uh, should be secret hyphen test, right? So here also, if you see, it says uh, two uh, data, two. Uh, the content now what we can do is we can get more information uh, using uh, uh, hyphen o yaml format okay so the output will be in yaml now here in this uh, output if you see we can see the password and username some value is there and this is an encrypted uh, format so the password what we are given is uh, pass one two three but this is an encrypted uh, format right this is a username admin which is also encrypted into this format now if you want to decrypt it you can use uh, the decryption so uh, let me show you how you can do that to just show like the username is admin so i'm going to use echo and uh, this is the value for password and uh, base 64 fnd and to just give one space i'm going to just give now you can see the value is pass one two three right what we we have given and also let me use one more echo and let me give the value for this so now you can see the admin right so uh, what uh, kubernetes has done it like it has encrypted the value what we have uh, given and it has put into the kubernetes uh, secret right kubectl get secret so this secret contains those values now if you don't want to give the direct uh, value or like admin and password uh, you know what we have written here what you can also do is you can convert this into you know the value uh, uh, to the base 64 encrypted and then you can change that but in that case we need to change this uh, uh, thing to just data so it should be like this now so if you want to give 
so this value is coming from how you convert this into a base 64 how you can do this is like you know you clear out the screen and uh, your value is admin right so you can use echo hyphen n and it should be admin and uh, and you can use base 64 now you can see this value is uh, sim same as what we got it from encrypted right so you can just change this admin with this value and similar way you can change the uh, value for password as echo hyphen n pass one two three and uh, base 64 so it has uh, encrypted that into the base 64 format and you can change that directly into this so you can use this one and you can create uh, the uh, your secret so let me delete this uh, secret whichever is running so kubectl get secret now let me delete it so kubectl delete secret and the secret okay so it's got deleted so if you go back get secret we don't have it and uh, let me create a new file called secret uh, new dot yammer and I'm going to put this new content there which uh, we have uh, used the encrypted values so I'll just copy this so if you see the difference is like we are directly putting as data not string data and uh, this is the encrypted uh, format uh, okay so I'm going to save this file now if I create kubectl apply hyphen f and it should be secrets new dot yaml so you will see we have the secret created right and if i go back to to kubectl get secret and this one and uh, hyphen o yaml format you can see the values uh, it uses the same values because now it's a direct uh, string it's not a, it's a direct value not a string value which is converting so it's already taken the encrypted file uh, content we have given and you can decrypt it uh, as what we have shown now let's see how we can make use of this uh, now you see the data in the secret we have uh, admin and the password pass123 which is in the encrypted format now how we can make use that into your uh, pod let's see that so there are different ways uh, it, for uh, you know, using uh, the secret attached to your pod. So one way is like you can attach it as a volume and the other way is like you can also do it like an environmental variable which you can map it. So uh, let's see about this example. Okay, so here I'm going to create a pod and the name of the pod is secret test pod. And you know, don't worry, I will be giving all the link uh, for this uh, documentation and all this uh, yaml file in my github so you can go to my github and you can make use of that okay and the container i'm going to create the container name is test container it's an nginx and i'm going to attach a volume for it the name name of the volume would be like secret volume and it should be this location mount path and this uh, volume will have a, you know secret volume uh, which is used from the secret test which is this uh, secret test okay so whatever volume I have given, secret volume, which will be taking the secret uh, test, which should be running in the uh, Kubernetes. So if you don't have the secret test running, it will not be able to take. So first you need to have the uh, secret test running. Okay, so kubectl get secret. We should have that uh, secret test running. Now let's create a, a manifest file for um, secret pod dot uh, yaml. and I'm going to insert this content into it now let me create a pod okay now you can see the pod is created so we have the pod it's getting created so let's wait that to be created you see that uh, pod is running now okay so now this pod is running how we see that it's uh, having that secret value right so we can do uh, kubectl we should uh, connect it to the pod so exec hyphen it and this pod name and uh, should be bin bash so slash bin 
slash bash okay so now we are inside the pod okay so as i say like we are inside the pod let's go to cd slash etc slash uh, what was the place where we had i think it's called uh, secret yep you can see secret volume right secret hyphen volume now if you see there are two uh, things right user password and username so these are the val uh, no, key value pair which we given username and the password right if i cat password you can see it's giving the value pass one two three right so you can see it, it's showing up here so only thing is you i just need to put uh, to make it much uh, uh no clear you see this pass one two three right so this password is having this value pass one two three and if i read this username now you can see it's showing admin so it has already taken those values what we are given the key value pairs right so it's uh uh, taken this value and saved into the pod. Now you can make use of that value into a different uh, purpose what you want to do it in your application. So that's the overall uh, purpose of secret. So we seen how the secret is uh, uh, saving the key value pair inside the pod using the volume, right? So there are other ways as well. So for example, this is uh, another scenario like where you can make use of as a environmental variable. So if you see, I'm creating a, another pod which have a name uh, test uh, container and the image name is nginx again and here I'm using a uh, environmental variables called secret username and this uh, value will be getting the value from the secret test and the value should be coming from the username key value pair so whatever we have given for username it should be admin which will be saved to the environmental variable secret username so this is another way to do it so you can uh, define uh, your secret uh, and make use of that into your pod based on your requirement so i just want to show you like how you can make use of secret and into the pod as well so that is all for this tutorial i hope it's an informative tutorial so kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos and i would also request you to you know keep supporting so thank you for watching